Yo, what's up YouTube? Today is a another great day. We got some brand new car parts from our good friends over at Steve White Motors all the way in Newton, North Carolina. This was a FedEx two-day package, so these guys do not play when it comes to Mopar parts and shipping. We're going to be putting what's in the box on this old hag today. So let's go ahead and dive right in unbox this baby see what exactly they sent us and then get the parts on the car guys so let's go ahead and do that now all right guys let's take a look at what you're gonna get when you order the 2019 lower and upper grill from Steve White Motors. It comes packaged real, real nice, you know, wound up in this bubble wrap. And this is, this is the uh, upper. So as you can see, it has got the snorkels in it. <clears throat> Let me see if I can get it out the bag here. So, like I said, this is the 2019 grill. The honeycomb is a little, uh, well, a lot wider, a lot more aggressive. And these are gonna be the snorkels. So let's compare that with the stock one. And as you can see, the honeycomb is a little bit of a different weave and it just looks a little bit different. You then have these snorkels for the outer that attach like such and basically just feed air into the to the engine if you have a scat pack and you're doing this mod i really do recommend the hellcat lower air box if you do not have an intake if you have an intake like the gt momentum all you would need is the intake tube and the, uh, the plastic housing that goes behind here, which I'll show you later. Now, I will put all the part numbers in the video description, so be sure you check the video description for all the uh, part numbers and links to order from Steve White, so you can get everything you need shipped direct to you, order from a Mopar dealer, so you will have warranty on the parts. <laughs> Now, when you do order the lower grill, you need to be sure if your car has the adaptive cruise or not. And if it does, it will have a circle in here because if you have the adaptive and you put the one without it, it's not gonna work. So you do need the lower with adaptive if your car has it. I will put part numbers in the video description. So be sure you check that out before you go. So now that we got it unboxed, we are basically going to remove the bumper and start taking the pieces off and then we'll get the new ones on guys. So let's go ahead and start taking this baby apart. All right guys, so a few steps on the bumper removal. There's some push pins right here. You pop them out. You may be able to do this with out jacking the car up or not this car is does have bags so 
I do have a lot of lift and room in the front I, when you crank the wheels. So you will have to disconnect the fog light. Again, if you have a scat pack, Hellcats do not have it. And the side marker, the plug is in the bottom. You push it, pull down, and there's a bolt down in the bottom, a bolt in the middle, and a bolt up here at the top that you will remove all these push pins up top and in the bottom there's i think it's eight screws that basically screw the plastics together those will, will get removed and once you have all that done you can pull the bumper off the car and then <laughs> begin pulling the rest of the inner bumper off to make room for the new 2019 that you guys just ordered from Steve White. So we're making progress guys. A few more minutes, the bumper will be off and we will be disassembling the rest of the grill and getting the 2019 grill in there for you guys. All right guys, last bolt. The bumper is now pretty much free, ready to pull off. So. And that's it, the bumper is now off okay guys the bumper is now off so we're gonna begin taking this uh back piece or the grill i should say off but a few things that i do have to do first is i do have this x loom badge that i'm going to have to basically take off and remount on the new one so i do have a little bit of wiring that i have to disconnect and remount the badge on the new grill if you have the lighting trends fog light halos you will need to disconnect those as they connect down there to the fogs that way you can have enough room to pull your bumper off and really work on it because you are gonna have to get way down up in there to get that stuff off guys so let me go ahead and get that out the way and we will, we will come back when we are taking all this stuff off, guys. All right, guys, we got the X-Loom badge off of the lower grill. We are starting here at the top. The first thing that we are doing is separating the plastic side piece from the center grill here. And this one's kind of weird. It's got like a, uh, hopefully you can make this out but it's got like a push a uh, center push pin in a sense so you push it in the middle of the uh, where it clamps together of it you push it basically right in the middle of that and you will see the end of it start to push out once you have it pushed out and the prongs are not so fat they close up a little bit i think we can get it off with your regular pry tool that you take the push pins off of but let me show you what the other one looks like as you can see hopefully the center of that pin is pushed in pretty good so like i said you take something small and push it in the center where you can see the uh, clips kind of bulged. And what I used is this center piece here. I just kind of pushed it like this and pushed it out. So now that I got it pretty much all the way out on this side, I am just going to use my clip uh, removal tool, pull it the rest of the way out and then we will work on taking the rest of it apart once we get these guys out. This is gonna be your first step. A little tricky, but not too, too difficult. Okay, so here is a little visual of the clip that we removed. As you can see, it is fully pushed out and removable. 
when it was installed this uh, top of this thing was pretty much all the way flush with this pin so once you get the pin basically out all the way like this you can the prongs are loose and you can basically pry it right off with your pry tool so now that we got both sides off there's going to be some push pins here that we do have to remove and the uh, grill are kind of they have clips all up and down the bottom so we will start removing these clips and these push pins to remove this top grill here okay i'm going to start by removing the pins right here our big ones set that one aside These car, these pins, and this car has been together since 2015. So it ain't happy about being removed from its home. Another speeding bullet. I'm walking alone in the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger. Step by step, the clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. I've been flying from town to town, from London to All four push pins have been removed. And there's a few more pins. Let me see. Right here. Right there. So once we get these bottom pins out, this piece should be able to remove, and then we can start getting the uh, grill section out and the new one in, guys. Okay, the lower bumper protection has been removed. There's just these two clips deep down inside, like I showed you. It helps if you have a tool like this to reach down in there, pull them out. So now we are going to do this piece and see if I can figure out how to get these clips out. This one just push down and in. Like push the bumper down a little bit, like right here. No, no, like the actual the bottom. Okay, do it right here. 
Take the right, right, yeah. Let me clip this. Turn that lid up. Now just a little bit push. Give it some pressure. Okay, that's good. Try work on the top a little bit. and that's pretty much how you do that guys it's kind of tight and fun but a little bit of wiggling around and she'll come right off it looks like the stripes are still okay so we will get the 2019 one on here and make our way down to the uh the lower section guys Okay, it is time to get the new grill up on here. And this looks like where it needs to go. So let me, I guess, start at the top. There you go. Kind of push down and in at the top right here. No, not at all, just at this clip. There you go. Uh, so far it's just it's 
snapping in. Same thing right here. Like right right at this tip. Like push okay. not not like with your thumb. Okay, so the upper 2019 section is in and just make sure that all the clips, they have like a top that locks it in. Make sure all of the tops are locked. Everything is pushed in. Also on the other side of the front, make sure there's no bumps or anything is raised right here because that would mean a clip is not inserted correctly. Same thing at the top. So a few more push pins and this one will be pretty much be installed. We will take the bottom one off before we put it all back together because there are some eight millimeter or seven millimeter bolts down here at the bottom. Coming back around, and whoop, here's the uh, pin that we dropped earlier. And I believe there are uh, some seven millimeter bolts down here that you will remove, and she will pop right off, guys. So let's get the uh, all the bolts off and this piece removed. Okay, all the bolts are off. We're gonna try to, this one slides out towards uh towards us i think there's some clips yeah and that's it guys the easy push right out and we will get the 2019 one and hopefully just push it right back in so let's do that now okay 2019 lower grill with the adaptive coming in hot Maybe I should, let me get the, just do a little rub down since we got everything just a little dirty. A few bugs, whatnot. Whoop. Okay. no pins in the bottom huh? Mm -hmm. Interesting. You know maybe it's oh, that way. Okay make sure you have it the right side up guys. There are fins that go in the bottom clips and the top just bolt right up. So now she'll go in. There we go. Nice and neat how it should. Now we just gotta put the uh, these bolts on that we took off. Eight of them in the front on top, eight of them in the bottom. And put the back pieces back on. And this baby will be pretty much ready to go, guys. Okay guys, the lower grill is in. All the bolts, top and bottom are tight, ready to rock. Now all that is left is to put the center insert in and put the clips around here. I will have to reinstall my X Loom badge, but other than that, this pretty much is a complete install and we will be getting the bumper back on the car here shortly. So this is uh, not bad guys. It's a fairly easy install, just a lot of push pins and popping clips and everything just kind of pops right out. So 
we are going to get this grill back on here or the front end I should say and see how it looks So to get it back in, you are going to basically push this through the hole on both ends and then to get it tight, you push this back flush with the uh, cap here. Okay, now that it is pretty much in there where it needs to be, keeping them together, you just have to push this pin in and get it to lock. And that's gonna be pretty much it for the uh, behind the scenes, behind the fascia install. One of the last steps is going to, you know, obviously, uh, obviously be to put the snorkels on, but I mean, this is pretty much a complete behind the fascia install, guys. All right, guys, a little life hack on these uh, ends here. When the, to put them back in, just get your butter knife wrap up uh, put it on the tip and just push it in and it'll go nice and flush on there like it needs to be guys locked and ready to go we are now ready to pretty much put this bumper back on the car after i get the x loom installed and the wires ran all right guys we are all finished up with the install the front fascia is back on all the clips and bolts are clipped and bolted in the 2019 grill swap is in and is a hundred percent success guys it looks really really awesome i'm loving the new honeycomb the only thing that we did not get and that is the hellcat lower tube and bracket right here and the 2019 scat pack batch we will be ordering those from steve white pretty soon if you have the afe gt momentum intake you do not need the hellcat lower box you just need the tube and the front bracket up here that is because the gt momentum has a hole for the hellcats to attach that tube if you have a hellcat or if you plan on doing the 2019 grill swap with the hellcat tube or the scat pack badge i will put all of the part numbers in the video description and be sure you make sure your car has the adaptive or it doesn't so you can order the correct lower insert the x loom has already been reinstalled on the car so this install is a hundred percent complete i really can't thank abel for coming over my good buddy lending me a hand and steve white motors for sending us this 2019 grill to do a install and an unboxing for all you awesome people watching at home so a huge shout out to uh steve white motors i will put all of their information in the video description we do have a promo code you can use that i will put in the video description as well so check that out before you go so you can save uh, yourself some money when ordering your 2019 grill upper and lower or just any mopar oem or performance parts through steve white motors real awesome people i've worked with them in the past so check them out and support steve white guys awesome awesome people and i will be ordering more stuff from them shortly uh, first and foremost will be the hellcat lower tube bracket and the scat pack badge so awesome awesome stuff guys the 2019 grill looks awesome 
install was easy and it's looking really really good with the snorkels guys yo what's up family so here we are the car is all washed up and the 2019 is uh grill is in looking really really good guys the x loom badge went on really well looks really good i'm really pleased with the fitment of it it went in like butter um you guys saw a few push pins to take out besides the uh, front end removal and you guys are on your way to a 2019 grill the only thing that i will do later is i am going to do the hellcat tube and front bracket right here and the no badge look does look pretty clean but i'll probably still get the scat pack badge here the 2019 one is like a hundred bucks though <laughs> so i don't know we'll see um but everything is looking really really good i was on the fence on the install for a while but now that i actually have it on the car i'm really really happy i did it again a huge shout out to steve white motors for sending us a unit to do an install and review for all you awesome people at home be sure to support them check the video description for all of their info part numbers for your car and you know be sure if you haven't done this mod to order fast because they may sell out again guys but it looks really really good on the car I may do something with the snorkels later but for now you know I'm just gonna rock it as is but I really hope this video helps you guys out in doing an install getting the parts that you need be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up smash that subscribe button so you don't miss all the future videos and content we have in store for you guys and be sure to check the video description for the Steve White Motors info, all our uh, affiliate sections. We have lots of great products for you to save money on. So awesome stuff, guys. I really can't thank each and every one of you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, guys, we will see you in the next one. Peace.